So we're going to start off by going to File, Automate, and then down to Merge to HDR Pro. Now we get the option of being able to choose our images. So if you choose the images that you've used in creating your HDRs, which is normally one underexposed, one overexposed, and one exposed correctly. Once we've got those three selected, press OK. And then we now move on to our next screen. And you can see each of those images are now layered one by one. So now everything's layered up, we're going to get this little pop-up window about manually setting the exposure value. A lot of the time, you don't really need to change that, to be honest. So just click OK, and then you'll get the next screen from Photoshop, giving you the option to make further and finite adjustments in terms of the actual HDR. So you can see some of the options that we're changing on the screen. We're making the image that little bit smaller so we can uh, just see it all clearly. Then it's worthwhile just having a look through some of the different presets that are available there's one really really good one called photorealistic uh, which i tend to find is kind of quite accurate for pretty much most of my hdr effects it takes away some of the highlights and some of the banding in the sky a lot of the time but it's also worth them playing around with some of the advanced tabs and tools with just tweaking the effect but ultimately once you're happy once you've got all that lovely texture and that lovely dynamic range hit OK, and then Photoshop, depending on how quick your computer is, is going to then create and render that HDR image. So you've got a composite of all those three layers. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Keep looking for iPhotography for more.